Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Cave Wade, and it was uploaded by Scott the Walls, and the name of this video is Rated E for Irrelevant, Scott the Walls. Okay, let's check it out. Yay. Hey, y'all. Scott, Scott here. The I realize today's youth is way into getting corrupted, Shia. so it's only fair to give every possible good or service an age-appropriate rating. You got Introducing the Food Eating and Ratings Association, what? or FEAR for short, where we give all food on the market a rating so you can decide if it's right for you what and your kids. What is this shit? E for edible, R for ranch, what? No, and no ranch. Yeah. It tastes like f***ing nickels. It's fucking jizz, man. And what, what is this? Give to win a sweepstakes dinner with that guy. The ESRB, Wait, the narcs who made us what? play Simpsons Hit and Run instead of Grand Theft Auto 3. They played a major role in helping to I mitigate some this. video game controversy. I have this actually. We spend more of them after the PS2 game. Established. Media has always been under scrutiny for Mortal being bad Kombat, on our yeah. Television, film, music, literature, all of that fuck? countless controversy surrounding them. Sega CD or something. Rock and roll was thought to corrupt the youth when it debuted. Schindler's List was broadcast on network. Well, you just advertised it or talking about a bunch of stuff. Feathers. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and Gremlins were both rated PG and I remember those. not so PG elements, and I'm still not allowed to read Catcher in the Rye. But video games Wait, were what? always seen as the worst of all those media. What's this game? violent movie, Hit you're watching a killer. With a violent Prison video game? game, you are the killer. There have been so oh, yeah. many controversies surrounding games. Pinball machines were it. outlawed for a while due to being considered gambling, leading to 70s arcade games facing outcry. The game Death Race, shocking what is many this? for its portrayal of running over... Gremlins. Gotcha's controls Gremlins. were designed to look like the Custer's Revenge on Atari 2600 doing the whole Custer's Revenge thing. And as Wait, the years what? went on, technology advanced, and violent video You're games You're going too fast, man. Slow the fuck down. Like you're killing people. They were more like... Shit. There you go, man. Sub Zero, why? Wow. Video games as a whole were leading you up to that. You could have got with Solid Video games you did were becoming more graphic, and thus I thought that was Jason, but it's in not. The arcade games like Splatterhouse just rub blood and gore into your face. Yeah, I actually remember Dark this. was an incredibly violent one where you blew up dozens of people, but they were all what drug the? dealers, and the game had an anti-drug message. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> it's a murder of combat. Wow. The fighting game craze started with Street Fighter II in 1991. And Too many Street Fighters, man. And combat came out and had to stand out from the crowd. There's they still there's a lot of more combats, but there's way more Street Fighters. insane at the time. It was so realistic. But also to help it stand sure out, you. it had a little help from our friend Gore. The game already caused tons of controversy due to this, uh, but it was multiplied exponentially the when the game made its way to home consoles. This is why we can't have cool Genesis. shit because it's somebody getting offended Genesis by everything. As the thing. more adult console, Sega felt the need to live up to that reputation by allowing more mature games on well, the it system. It needs to be for adults. Let, let adults like us Nintendo. have our thing. Then you give the little snot nosed kids the little PG combat. shit. Well, both the Super Nintendo and Sega what Genesis versions initially lacked the blood and gore of the arcade version. There should be controversy while, while everything's so fucking kidified now. Sweet cheat code to enable it. Well, this made the Genesis port a hit with kids. Good games. Didn't bode well with parents and. Even Kids were playing this. December so. 9th, 1993 was the day a congressional hearing was held to discuss violent video games and a potential system to... There's the more bigger things you should be games. worried about Mortal out Kombat there. Mortal Kombat was a major talking point alongside the game's lethal enforcers, Night Let Trap, us have and our fucking video games and fun. Yeah, the content in these games were more mature than others. But a lot we'll of keep it the fuck away from kids. Games did that went too far Parrots. feel a bit over exaggerated. Lethal enforcers <sighs> used a blue toy gun and had you shooting bad guys as a police officer. They Little kids are running around with toy guns. For the Sega CD that was as harmless are you as gonna a stop that? video B movie. And Mortal Kombat, yeah, I have no excuse for that one. Representatives from Mortal Kombat was awesome, present, man. It was Gore, but it was Lincoln awesome. Standing strong and just leave it the fuck alone. The fuck alone. Acting like Night Trap was the most heinous thing ever constructed by Make man. Make pussy shit for the kids. Not but let adults the have their thing. Game, which is you've indicate, That's indicate people like you while we get shit now. Why this world's so fucking neutered. This scene from Night Trap was the one everybody got up in arms about. You can't look at this scene and say, I never played this. Man, this is poisoning the minds of our youth. Like, 
Well, What's little kids on? should be playing it. Watching the scene, it looks and like they should be watching certain movies that you let them watch. Some machine, which led to everybody if it's saying, so offensive, I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Even though what's at the time of the there? hearing, there would be no technical way for Night Trap to run on a Nintendo console, Lincoln made one was. thing very clear. And let me say that for the record, I want to state that Night Trap will never appear on a Nintendo system. Well, Nintendo's Nintendo complete. wasn't a well, what was that? during the hearing. You're, you're going too fast. Was getting absolutely slaughtered, mainly due to the significant increase in mature themes with games on Sega Platform. Yeah, Nintendo is more Mortal PG, Kombat but they got a few violent games too. Trap, they had it rough that day. In their defense, Sega initiated their own rating system. Yeah, the, the rates is how the rating game. system started GA for general audiences. MA13 for 13-year-olds and older, and MA17 for 17-year-olds and older. They were blasted for possibly only using a rating Wait. system to fight okay. the backlash, and due to the age ratings being too vague. Even though the ESRB ratings Look are basically the shit. same thing. I have this never seen a game. There, mom. Says there adults was only. No rating on this game at all when the game was introduced. Small children bought this at Toys R Us, and he knows that as well. Wow, as well, when you should be selling it at Toys R Us. This game, then they adopted the rating system and put ratings on it. While a lot of the arguments go after every game, kind of uninformed and because somebody story, got offended, it simply made sense for video games to receive content ratings just like you got him a toy gun buyer. Especially considering the drastic you play with that? Yeah, beep, beep, beep. they weren't necessarily trying to censor games, rather making sure consumers were aware of what they were buying. Well, you got the rating system, but little kids are still buying the game, game, so... ...companies to initiate a game rating system, with major retail outlets making <sighs> it clear they would not buy games without a rating. That year would see the creation of the Entertainment Software Sometimes Rating Board, it works, or I guess. the ESRB, an organization that gives video games age-appropriate ratings. Man, I miss video games. ...videos of their projects... That game's good. ...gameplay and what could be deemed more objectionable It's hard sometimes, but it's ...to receive pretty one fun. of initially five ratings. Early childhood, kids to adults, teen, mature, or adults only. Later, I have never seen adults, adults only, you know, like a PlayStation 4 game. In 2005, the or new five. Everyone 10 and Up rating was introduced with Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Because this game couldn't have possibly been rated E for everyone. That's what the ridiculous. shit? Later, the design of the rating Make a real Donkey Kong game, right like back in Super Nintendo. In 2013. Good? Remember these spray paint stencil designs? There's something oddly charming Wait, about the old school look of these ratings, especially the K to A one, even though I definitely prefer E for everyone, as it's way more straightforward and clear. Back during the game for PS2 and Xbox era, it felt like there was a nice variety of games rated I got e some, I got a decent amount of games over here. Like it's everything or nothing. Honestly, see Resident Evil 7. Hell yeah, Resident Evil 5. Rated. Of course, there's the elusive EC and AO. EC is fairly uncommon. Mainly I've used never on seen that. Games on the PC. ESRB's website claims that only 289 games have been given the rating. On Damn. the exact opposite side of the spectrum, adults only is by far the rarest rating with yeah, it's very rare. games rated as such. Now, there's really not a ton what of games, games rated, rated adults AO only. For a few reasons. That'd be like a porn game or something. Most AO rated games are basically yeah, but I've never seen it in the game. Another being the fact that all console manufacturers have a policy against AO games, stating that they aren't allowed on the platforms, and similarly, most retail chains won't carry products rated wow. AO. This is the then main why reason why you see it? the rating too often. If developers actually want to sell their you're game not gonna be able sell it. to get rated AO, they have to go in there and change some things up. More recently, the game Agony no received the rating, and the developers had to tone the violence down to go full-on M-rated so it could be released on consoles. Due to the, the big the policies, I've ever the majority of AO games have only appeared on PC, exceptions being the Philips CDI and the, the Joey of Six. What However, the we do have two more examples of AO games on consoles, one being Thrill Kill on the PS1. The game got Wait, hit what? with an AO rating, but never released commercially. You can find the never ROM online crazy easily, though. The other one was... Uh, Oh, oh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So that's yeah. why CJ isn't in Smash Brothers. After the it game was when I got it. Sex scene was found in the game's files, later dubbed as the Hot Coffee mod. What it sex wasn't accessible scene? without hacking the game, but people were angry. No, who was angry? Who was, was angry? Yeah, the game's already violent rated him, and hacking. there's sexual so themes in it. You get the same experience from watching. So who got offended? Going at it, but it was a big enough deal that the game was re-rated AO and pulled from shelves, Some which bullshit. led to Rockstar re-releasing the game to re-achieve an M rating, which is why you'll see many copies of San Andreas with second edition written on them. A similar situation went I'm down. I'm just curious what that scene is. For Oblivion, where a random somebody who, who was made it a between? mod for the game. It was discovered deep within the Oblivion. game's files existed the art the mod used for the nudity. That was uncalled for. Nowadays, it feels like more mature content is getting the pass within lower age ratings. Indigo Prophecy's unedited PC release was what originally game is that? an AO rating, 
but recently with the release of an uncensored remastered version don't even bother an making an a game also, then. Double do Peace is a game where you shoot pheromones at girls and it's rated e for everyone because society finally accepts fuck? us fuck it was a misprint sometimes a game's rating can leave you perplexed oh. like how the fuck? How are so many Kirby games rated E10 plus? Like, I get it. Kirby games can get kind of intense, but... He eats people. Or little monsters. Though, games in series well known for being one specific rating can change things up at a moment's notice. And yeah, it really weirds me out. Ah, Dark Souls? Oh, yeah. Big M rated series. Hard. Okay. Batman Arkham series. Rated oh, T? Phoenix Wright. Oh, oh, come on. Fight Night, an EA sports title. Easy contender for family fun. Jesus. When you look at this, Fuck ESRB.org has a description of content found in games that could be objectionable. I what do say, you all want, folks? Games PG games or rated M games? With ESRB being around for nearly 20 years. Well, there's some E for everyone ones that people play, but you know what I'm trying to say here. Aspects of the Come out, games industry. with pussified that, with PG the shit. With of digital games, kids can buy as many M rated games as they want. Like, kid walks into the store, buys PlayStation Network, bucks, goes home, buys yeah. Bloody McSex scene the game, and becomes Genghis. Con, like, come on, I thought we got rid of that guy. Disregarding that, so many parents just buy their kids M rated games with no second thought. They just don't look at the ratings and then yeah, they the don't. game for being too vulgar for their kids. Why don't you actually be a parent? Usually they post ask your ID too. You buy them. the media itself. Different people are into different things, meaning not every piece of media produced is going to be G rated. That's true concerning everything, especially video games. Most video games that garner controversy for being unsuitable for children First person. are already rated M. But is that ever brought up when all these big shots who don't know get nothing it. about video games talk about how video games are corrupting society? These no, motherfuckers they just talk about how the news Call of Duty games. is poisoning our children when, guys, guys, too many Call of Duty games. It's absolutely ridiculous how hard and little kids are playing Call of Duty. Black letter in the corner of these games. They're learning how to shoot. Well, I'm taking shit. a stand. We need to expand the size of these things. It's for the kids. Everything's for the kids. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. And I'm getting the fuck out here, so yeah, yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.